Just um, come next to the hotel for a little peppermint tea today. Didn't want to walk too far. Starbucks is a bit of a walk. It's a day of resting up. Keep nice and full. A bit more food still to go today. But anyway, last night we had the team meeting and also the athletes meet for the pro show and the men's physique guys. So I've come away from that seeing how high the standard is going to be as the standard of the natural men's physique standard in the WMDF is literally rising year on year so I'm comparing it to what I saw last year this year it's looking insane and essentially that's what I want to see I want to see natural bodybuilding grow I want to see the men's physique division grow I want to see the standards becoming higher and higher and more and more people coming in to do what we do and uh, so yeah it's a great feeling to see that but then on a personal level going into this competition I mean it really makes you think wow I am up against some incredible guys so I mean it really just makes me want to enjoy it. I know how much I really put into being here, how much I put into becoming a pro, all the sacrifices made along the way. And um, yeah, we're here, so it's time to enjoy it all. Today is the amateur show, so I might pop and go and watch that for a little bit. Uh, it'd be cool to see the men's physique there. Obviously, I won my class in that last year to win my pro card, so it'd be nice to see you know someone else achieve that last uh, this year, knowing how it felt for me last year. An amazing feeling, and it'd be nice to see someone else do the same. So yeah, follow along for the ride. We're here, we're ready, we're having a good time, and living the dream. I'll try that, I'll be a bit hostile. <laughs> <laughs> It has definitely been a pretty chilled day today, which is good, just what I needed. Before tomorrow, before the show kicks off, and before things get a bit more exciting as well on this trip in general, we're going to be doing plenty after the show, which I'll get up on here as well, but it's been a day of basically relaxing, did fall asleep for a little bit earlier, uh, been for a walk to the venue, and checked out the stage there, looked at the amateur show for a little bit, which is pretty cool, but we'll get that all on the video for tomorrow, which will be show day. So yeah, in terms of the peak itself, feeling very good at this point, but as you'd have seen in the Germany show, sometimes things go wrong, so I'm trying not to, I'm just taking it one step at a time, keeping calm. I have been very OCD about my stomach and just making sure that everything's digesting well and I'm not getting any stomach pains and 
yeah, the food has been going in. Plenty of carbs have gone in. I think it was about 650 the first day, 800 the second day. And it'll be about 400 grams today. Happy with how everything's coming in and hopefully we'll wake up on point for the show tomorrow. In terms of the result itself, I do have a goal of getting into that top five, but yeah, I'm gonna take it as it comes. I know the standard is ridiculously high. Speaking to Brad, who I'm rooming with, we roomed together last year at the Worlds and he could see a massive improvement in my physique and I just find it like very interesting that you can improve so much but now I'm competing on a whole new level so it's like this physique now I'd be absolutely buzzing with uh, previously whereas I'm being like a bit more over critical of it because I'm now on that pro level and um, up against some insane guys so but you do have to come away and realize that you can only improve what you've got and I'm very proud of that and I'm also very confident in the way I look if I can bring it in at my best so I'm excited for it. And if I can have number 40, change place. And 186, don't get too comfortable, change with 41. <laughs> In front double bicep. Just to remind everybody this so but I need I need this group to step between the two middle uh, the two blue lines. So go ahead and take three steps back. Can we spread you guys out just a little bit more? Two hundred, just take a step to your left, yeah. Here we go, welcome to show day, WMBF 2023 World Championships. We're here, it's time to do what we need to do. So I've just come lunchtime, just eaten another meal, third meal of the day. Um, spent the morning relaxing at the hotel, woke up nice and early. Was happy how I looked when I woke up this morning. And then the mind game starts kicking. Um, something I've been dealing with a lot lately. Feeling a bit up and down, but you know, it's all part of the journey embracing all the emotions as we go and now that I'm here I always do the same thing on show day I feel I get to the venue and start to get a bit of a buzz for the show and at this point I just get excited to get on stage I am feeling good and I'm excited to get backstage get pumped up ready to get on and do like I say what we need to do if I got into the top five today I'd be absolutely buzzing with that that would be like confirmation that I belong up there with the best in the world but in terms of expectation where I think I should place, where I think I might place, I actually have no idea at this point because like I say, we are up against the best of the best. I'm going to stand on there proud, I'm going to be confident, I'm going to smile, and I'm going to bring my best. Let's do it.
Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go. Back to the line. To the right. 
From Team Israel, competitor number 97, Sar Sikor, fourth place. Representing Team USA today, oh. competitor number 95, Chris oh. Elkins, hey. in third place today. Representing WMBF Portugal, competitor number 275, Adeo Martins. Oh. BF, United States, competitor number 96, Kyle Okora. Yeah, <laughs> spaced out. So guys, we are all done here at the WMBF Pro World Championships. Came off stage and um, to be honest, I'm quite happy today. Um, I did aim for the top five. I felt very happy when uh, they did the first call out. So they generally they'll call in order that they've got presently, or currently should I say. Um, the way they've got it running, so they called who they got first at that point, and I actually got called second. So that really uplifted me um, from that point, and then I slowly got moved out a little bit. I haven't had any judges' feedback yet as to why. I mean, I can jump to my own conclusions. I mean, the, the standards insane, and um, a lot of the guys were incredible. And seeing the top five, like I'm not actually surprised by. But the reason I'm coming away happy today is because I feel like I've massive redeemed, massively redeemed myself on a personal level. And what I'll say to any competitors is, as much as you want to put stuff on social media, or as much as you love the support of other people, um, a lot of this sport comes down to this and down to confidence as well. And a lot of it is quite lonely in terms of the training, the mindset sometimes, not everyone understanding. So you are up against yourself a lot. And um, so what I'm saying is it's about how you feel personally. And it shouldn't be your outcomes are dictated by the opinions of someone else. My personal opinion and how I felt in the last couple of weeks, I felt real low on confidence after the German show, really anxious about my stomach after what happened there, a bit embarrassed about how I looked on stage. I really wanted to redeem myself on a personal level because I wanted to prove to myself that I belong in the top pro men's physique guys in the world. I've seen the photos, I've seen the footage, and the reason I'm not in the top five is not because I don't belong on that stage, it's just because the standard was so high and I've got photos where I look well in the mix for that top five. And like I said, I got pulled into second place to start off with. So I'm more than happy. I've proved to myself that I can hang with the best in the world. And despite not making that top five, I am feeling very uplifted by how that went today and how I looked personally. My um, personal pride, my personal confidence shouldn't be dictated by other people. How I felt coming off the Germany stage was very low confidence because I wasn't happy how I looked. How I feel today is very uplifted, very confident because I'm very happy with how I look and I can see how I need to improve. And that means I can go away now, work on the gym, grow the areas I need to, work on the improvements I need to make. And that's exciting to me. I love doing what I do. So we're going to be working hard for more. There will be more of a reflection on this, I'm sure. But that's how I'm feeling right now, straight off the back of coming off stage. So uh, there we have it, guys. 2023 season is a wrap. Two pro shows done. And I'm feeling good for the future. And I'll be back on stage next year. Dave, what are you doing? Mate, I've not had a coffee in over two weeks since Germany because I thought that it was the coffee that went my stomach. I've been so scared that they were messing my stomach up again. I haven't been drinking any coffee. <laughs> I've been walking past this machine every morning on this trip so desperate to do these things. French vanilla, pump some of that in, and taste a bloody coffee without caring what it's going to do to my stomach. <laughs> yeah, stir it around. Oh, oh mate, that is nice. Mm.